Hello YouTube. Um, I'm hoping this is recording. For some reason my camera is not showing playback. So I can't check to see if it is. It's just showing a frozen screen, which it did once before, which is very frustrating. So I could do an entire camp of recording and have zero at the end of it. We shall see. So I've also brought the new drone out as well. And uh, there's no GPS signal here. So can't get the drone up either. Obviously they work on GPS and there's just not enough signal to, uh, to get a link to the drone. Technically I'm not having a good day today. But the sun's out, the weather is looking lovely. Uh, and I'm in Wales today and I'm meeting up later on with a uh, special guest. So I'm just heading off to a pre-agreed camp spot. And I'm going to get set up with my new gear. So I've got a new hammock um, with an underquilt to try out. So I'm going to get that up and uh, I'll show you around it. Quite excited to try that out. I'd said before, I'm not too sure if a normal hammock style would work for me, just because of the way I sleep. But, um, well, we'll find out tonight, won't we? So it's a stunning spot here for a bit of drone photography, but obviously the technology gods are working against me. I just checked my work phone and I had 5G. 5G! Never get 5G. So I thought, right, I'll use that. So I tethered it to the drone, got it all set up, transferred the memory card out of the camera into the drone, because I've only got one memory card. Blinding you there. Got it all set up, went to start it, signal went. There's no GPS, completely depleted. How does that work? I'll give up, stick with the camera. And I'm assuming it's recording, because I can't check that either. Right, I'm just trying to follow instructions that were sent to me. The secret pathway to a secret woodland to meet up. I may have gone wrong, but we'll see. Lovely little river down by side me here. It's a nice spot. Beautiful area. A nice little walk. It's a good day for it as well. The weather's lovely. So tonight I'm going to be uh, trying out my new hammock, which is the One Wind. It's the 12 foot hammock with integrated bug net. Um, and I've also got the One Wind underquilt as well. And my normal top crop and my one wind tarp. So I'm going to be all one winded up. So it'll be interesting to see. I have tried it, I've set it up, I've laid in it. It feels comfy. Laying in it and being comfortable is one thing, sleeping in it and being comfortable is another. I bought a different pillow today as well because obviously my inflatable one is very flat slab sided so it won't work so hopefully this will be a bit more comfortable we'll find out in the morning won't we so I finally got the drone working found a spot with a little signal so just had a little play not too much um, I should have been here about an hour before my mystery guest <laughs> I should have been set up about an hour before my mystery guest but I cannot actually get through the way he said to get through so I've given up and I'm going to wait for him. I can see him there, in the distance. Who is it? Right, so I finally made it to camp and um, anyone who watches his vids might recognise this place because uh, he's been here a few times. So say hello to Gaz from hello. Boys in the Wood. Are you in the communion picture? I can't see them. I got my glasses I think on. I am, mate. Yeah, yeah, just about. Yeah, I'm in there. I'm in there with my big head. We finally meet. So we, we've been chatting for years on, on uh, you well, years, a long, long time anyway, on YouTube and on, uh, on our group on WhatsApp. So um, he's got uh, a couple of shelters. This is one of them. I couldn't find it. It's well hidden. Um, so I ended up waiting for him to drag me through some bushes. Uh, but it's, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely spot. So I'm going to get a hammock up in a minute. Um, you're in a new tent. Yep. Helm. The helm one. Helm Compact One, yeah? Yeah, it arrived today. Mm. Nice so yeah, we've all got new stuff today. I'm in my new hammock. He's in his new tent. So I'm going to get that set up in a minute. 
sweating like mad. You see how they are, look horrific. But yeah, it's lovely, can't complain. Better than freezing cold and rain anyway. Right, I will uh, bring you back in a bit. Well, so I'm all set up. I'll show you, uh, show you my setup in a second, but um, let's have a look at, uh, let's have a look at Gez's. Bit of a monstrosity, really, isn't it? His new tent. It's the a Helm, The Helm Compact One, and he has managed to run <laughs> inside because he didn't bring a sleeping mat. He's put inside his uh, cot bed, <laughs> which is literally corner to corner. It's a squeeze, but it'll fit just. I'm not giving you much headroom in there afterwards, I must admit, because you're raised quite high up. Yeah, but you know. It's fine, isn't it? It's one night. It'll do. It, it was an accident bringing it, I didn't mean to bring it. He got, he got carried away, he got excited. Yeah, his I, new, I had new to toy. In the tent and forgot that that was in my bag, basically. Well, Good looking tent, though. Nice, isn't it? It is. It might have four holes in it in the morning. It might have four holes in the corners, yeah. Just turn, turned up like that. Send it back. Right, so um, my setup tonight. It's a bit different for me. I'm in a normal hammock. So this is going to be my first ever sleep in a non-flat, flat lay hammock. Um, so this is the One Wind 12 foot hammock with bug mesh. Um, and I've obviously got the One Wind tarp which only just reaches past the hammock. And I must admit, I'm a little bit concerned that I think it might not give enough protection in the rain. I don't think it will. So whether I need to get a, uh, a larger tarp or one that I can put into a diamond shape to make it longer on those corners. Um, I've also got the um, One Wind gear store. So this is a hanging gear store for I've got my bag and electrics and bits and pieces chucked in here, so keeps it off the ground, which is fantastic, but it's also a multiple use item. So that is actually a hammock chair. So you can hang it up between two trees. I'll show you that in the morning, maybe. Um, but it also is a um, waterproof backpack cover. So you can attach it around your backpack, tighten up all the cinches, and you've got a waterproof cover. So it does three things. And we like multi-use items because it saves on weight and money and pack size. So yeah, I'm quite chuffed with that. And it's amazing how much weight it will take because I can sit in it. So that's quite a lot. Um, I've also got my um, Flames Creed quilt. Thermarest cinch pillow, new purchase. I went to go and buy a cheap pillow um, because my one is no good for inside a hammock. It's inflatable and it's flat and it's quite hard. So it's not gonna work inside here. It works in the Haven, but it's not gonna work in a curved hammock like this. Um, so I went down to Snow and Rocks to go and buy a cheap eight pound um, pillow that they were showing in stock. Went there, didn't have it. So next to it, they had the uh, the Thermarest, which I had been looking at. It does look quite comfy and it fits pretty well inside there. So, so I got that instead. Um, with this hammock, you also get a little gear store in here as well. And you've also got two um, hanging cords so you can hang a, a light from there. So these are um, black plastic knots. So they're attached either end so you can slide them about wherever you want. It feels really, really comfortable. Um, Time will tell, well, tonight will tell, whether or not it's gonna be comfortable for me. Um, I've also got the um, underquilt as well. So this, again, this is the One Wind um, underquilt. It weighs about, I think it's 900 grams or a kilo. Um, so it's not too bad. It's supposed to be very warm. All of this stuff from um, Outdoor Gear Essentials. So I'll put a link in the website. Sorry, I'll put a link in the description below for his website. So if you do want to buy any One Wind gear, he sells pretty much everything there as well. Um, so go and check him out. And, um, and yeah, thanks Cole for sending this out to me. Hopefully it works and I enjoy it. What I quite like about these is the, um, the adjustment straps on here. So you, instead of having uh, daisy chain loops all the way up, where you can only put it into certain sections, this you can just tighten it up or loosen it with a buckle. Um, it's really easy for getting the fine adjustment just done right. Um, and obviously I've got my uh, hinge hammocks um, ridge line for the, uh, for the tarp with the Nama claws. I also have my new table. So this is the latest design, latest carnation of, the, uh, of my hammock table. It's more stable than the other one was. Um, and I've just got a nice rubber mesh 
glued across it um, so it keeps it from slipping anywhere uh, but I'll try it out tonight cook on it and um, have a few drinks I'm now going to go and head down to the river because I need some more water so I'm going to go and get a top up and I'll see you guys back in a bit Turns out I'm not, I'm not too much of a dickhead, am I? Uh, no, you are Yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, an, it's just a, it's a nice, nice chilled, chilled camp, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's been good, right? <clears throat> I say see, I see catch up, but meat. Yeah, we haven't met before, so we can't really catch up. But then again, we, we don't talk as much as we it do when we were like on the WhatsApp group. Though, it? Do you yeah, because I mean? we used to chat all the time on the WhatsApp group, didn't we? <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, not so much now, but... still We still chat, it's just, I don't... I don't, I'm not much of a texter, much of a... Well, you, uh, do you ever see me get my phone one, out once tonight, have you? No. I, I, I'm not. I'm, I just do I, I should text my wife. <laughs> At least good night. I've had a, I've had a FaceTime. <laughs> so, yeah. It's because she doesn't believe I'm out with, with Gez. Yeah, I'm, I'm out with yeah. uh, Geraldine. You had, to, you had to show the shelter as proof, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I'm here with another proof man. not in a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> with some bit of fluff. <laughs> Right, it's um, just gone 12. Very little filming tonight, so apologies. Uh, me, and, uh, me and Gez have just been putting the world to rights, having a good old chat. So uh, yeah, we haven't been doing much filming, but um, you haven't missed much. Not, not, not that it could be put on camera and film anyway. <laughs> Gez is, Gez is now saying that our oh, chat was boring. That's not what I meant. <laughs> so yeah, not not really filmable quality material. But yeah, we've had a good laugh. Um, so it's just gone it's quarter past twelve now. So I'm gonna try my first night in this hammock, and I will tell you all what it's like in the morning. Good morning. I had a pretty good sleep last night, and this is a lot more comfortable than I thought it was going to be. Um, and I can side sleep on it as well. Without going at an angle, I still found it comfy. Yeah, it was good. I need a coffee now. Um, it's just gone seven o'clock. Gez is up. Um, I had a really comfy night. I kept sliding down the hammock a bit. 
but um, yeah, managed to side sleep without going diagonal lay. Got a fairly, well, not a flat lay, but it was comfortable. Um, need to give it a few more tries just to give a final verdict on it, but um, I'm enjoying it. It's a nice hammock, comfortable. Comfortable as a word. Coffee is on the go, I need this. I was saying I slept, I slept pretty well, um, just didn't get a lot of it I don't think, because I didn't get off to sleep till fairly late. It took a while to nod off, but in the end was was comfortable, but no, Gez, is, Gez is doing it properly over there. He's got his uh, mocha, mocha kit in it, one of those. Is it a, Do you know what mate, I don't know what it's called. I think they're called, yeah, it's called a mocha, Espresso or something like that. But it, uh, it makes some awesome coffees, to be fair. I'll make you one now if you want that. Yeah, I'll have a go with that. Is that a one cup or two? It's that... a one cup, uh, annoyingly, but. A little, little restaurant table over there with your bottle of wine and your, <laughs> and your, your mocha coffee. It's come out with two camps with me now and I still haven't drunk it. <laughs> it's the littlest <laughs> bottle of wine ever. <laughs> so, how is your. Um, your bed situation last night? Uh, not the best to be honest mate. I think we've solved that age old question of should you take the cot inside a Helm 110? <laughs> the answer is no. Very much no. <laughs> <coughs> very much. But, uh, so no damage to the tent then? No damage to the tent, thank God. It was, uh, <coughs> it was all good this morning. All good in the wood. As you can see, Gaze is all Packed up, ready to go. Yep. Military marching with his 4,000 litre backpack on. It's not because I don't like Mike. I've got to get to work. He's got to get to work. Yeah. I'm already working. I've already taken some phone calls. Um, so, yeah, he's uh, all ready to go. I'm going to have a little bit of a, a leisurely pack up and uh, just go for a bit of, couple of bits of gear as well before I head off. But um, big thank you for uh, inviting me along to your secret secret little spot. I technically crashed your camp. <laughs> well, yeah, you did, yeah. You crashed my night and I crashed your spot. So, yeah, yeah that's all, all well. But, yeah, we had a good laugh last night. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, have a look. It's Boys in the Wood. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, go and check him out. Um, it's him and uh, sometimes his brother. But uh, they're a good crack. It's, good, it's a good laugh. It's a good channel. So go and say hello and uh, give him a sub if you can as well. But, yeah, thanks for coming along. And um, peace and goodbye now. I'm not yet. But um, yeah, I'll uh, catch you on the next one. We'll definitely catch up again. Yep. Cheers, guys. Cheers all. So one of the concerns I had with having a, a hammock like this, unlike my Haven, was storage and where to put stuff. Um, because everything fits inside the Haven because it's so big and it's flat. So you can just put everything in there. You can hang it all on the ridge line. Um, I hang my bag up in there as well. So I was a bit worried about what to do with all my gear. But this little piece of equipment, I'm going to show you this now, is fantastic. Uh, it's very cheap, it weighs 60 grams, I think it packs up the size of a, of a tennis ball. Um, and it is a multi-use piece of equipment and it works extremely well. So this is the One Wind Gear Hammock Stroke Backpack Cover Stroke Hammock Chair. Now I've got all of my stuff in here, I've got my drone, I've got my backpack, I've got my bits and pieces of rubbish and there's tons of space to put more gear in there. I put my jacket in there. The only thing that's set outside was my cook kit, which is just sitting on the table um, and my boots are sat on the floor. It just hangs under here nicely. This is just wasted space under here. And even with me in the hammock, I couldn't feel it. I wasn't pushing onto it. Um, it, it. It is a really, really handy piece of equipment for something that is so small, but also multifunctional as well. So basically at the end here, you have these cords. So you've got a um, uh, shock cord that runs all the way through it so you can tighten it up um, and that way when you get it around your backpack as a, uh, a backpack cover, rain cover, you can just cinch it all in around it um, and it just keeps it fully watertight and it's massive as well so it will cover any bag but you can tighten it up and make it smaller so unlike an elastic one if it's too big it won't fit and it'll be baggy. You basically have these two long bits of power cord that come off here and you've got the old uh, bunny ear hooks and you just tie it to the line fully extended, it just fits perfectly. 
under the hammock. I'm gonna get my gear out and get it sorted out and I'll show you it as a chair and I'll show you how it works. So if you haven't brought a chair with you when you're out hammocking in the woods, then uh, this will also double up as a chair in two ways, and I'll show you. Attach between two trees. It's amazing how much weight this thing can take. So I weigh 100 kilos. And now I've got a decent comfy chair. So flat level, just for sitting up, cooking, I could have my little table sitting here outside of the hammock. Um, it just gives me another optional space without having to bring a cumbersome chair along. So this is very lightweight, weighs 60 grams, fits in your pocket. So yeah, it's made of the same material as the hammock. So it will take your weight. Um, the cord, paracord will take your weight. Um, I think it's rated up to 120 kilos. I'll double check that, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but yeah, it just gives you a nice little chair to sit in. And there's two ways you can do this, I'll show you. So if you want a more comfortable laid back seat, you can just raise one end up, have one end down, and have it as a bit of a lounger. and have a little swing in your hammock chair. It's very comfortable. You have to be well balanced though. It's easy to flip out. Have a little wood. <laughs> so once you finish with it, it's got its own built-in little pocket which when you're sitting in it as a chair, you could use it to just put bits and pieces in if you don't want it falling out of your pocket. Um, but it just packs up inside here. And that's it. Packed away tiny. Now to me, this is an essential piece of equipment. This is not a luxury item. Bringing a chair, yeah, you could sit on a log, you could sit on the floor. I've got a little sit mat, I could sit anywhere I wanted to. Um, I would use this as a chair. But the fact that this allows me to now put all of my gear basically in the hammock, it's off the floor in this gear storage. Um, this, this to me is, is an essential piece of equipment because all of my gear goes inside there. Nothing is inside the hammock apart from a couple of bits I've got hanging up in a little hammock bag in a, in a, um, a ridgeline pocket. So that takes up no space, weighs next to nothing. It is a chair. It is a rucksack cover, rain cover for your rucksack, um, but the gear hammock part of it is an essential piece, I think, because all of your stuff is kept inside, off the ground, no bugs, creepy crawlies or anything else getting into it. Um, and it's just easy as well. When I'm in the hammock, I can just unzip, I did it last night, unzip, put my hand down, pick stuff out that I want to, haven't got to even get out of bed. Really cool. So yeah, one wind, gear, hammock, stroke, seat, stroke, waterproof backpack cover um, is really really good not a bad price I think it's about 20 quid I'll put a link in the description below if you do want to buy it but good piece of equipment so my verdict on this hammock I'm not going to give it a full verdict I've had one night in it I am going to be using it more um, I did enjoy it I liked it the I found that the um, the bug mesh was a bit close to my face inside there so I'm going to look at possibly tying out there are side points here that you can pull it out and stretch it, um, stretch the hammock out a bit wider. Um, how that will work with the undercoat, I don't know whether that, that will have an effect on it. And it's, you know, it's, it's use as a proper undercoat being around you, I don't know. Um, but it was comfortable. Um, I had no problems sleeping in it last night. Didn't have any back issues, didn't have any back problems this morning. It was fairly flat, I didn't lay diagonally. So this, you can lay diagonally to get a flat lay on this. But when I tried it, it didn't feel right. It felt uncomfortable for me, but I managed to go onto my side and I am a bit of a side sleeper. And with the new pillow that I've got, it was very, very comfortable. I could have been in bed, but with a gentle swing, it was really, really nice. So yeah, I'm not gonna give a full verdict on it because I need to use it a few, a few times to get used to it um, and really find out whether or not it's 100% it's right for me. But it's looking good so far and I really enjoyed it. I like the look of it, it's lightweight, so it's a lighter setup than the Haven, obviously. Um, but it gives me another option. And um, yeah, it's a decent quality piece of product. The hammock itself is actually all one piece. There's no seams or anything else in it. So there's nothing that could tear or dig in you when it gets really tight um, and, and pulls against your body. Um, the zips work really, really well. 
uh, better than the Haven. I do have an issue with the Haven, it gets so tight because the structure in the Haven where the zip is, it basically works like a suspension bridge, bridge and that's where all of the tension is taken up in that U-shaped structure. Um, and it's difficult sometimes I find to do the zip up and undo it. These are free flowing. They're a bit jangly in the night. Gaz said, are you ringing a bell or is that my ears? Um, he thought there was an escaped house cat going along with a, with a bell tinkling along. So the, the, um, the zips do jingle a bit, but they're, they're free flowing. They're very easy to use. Um, and it's nice that you can just position them wherever you want and get access in and out. It would be nice if there was a zip on the other side as well, because the zip goes all the way around in one go. And I just had a sudden thought last night that if I wanted to do anything out the other side, I couldn't unzip it. I'd have to go all the way down the whole hammock and back again. So it'd be nice to have another zip on the other side. So you've got two options for it, but it's functional. It works really well. Um, the zip is smooth and it's easy. So, so I've also got the one wind under quilt as well. And again, all this came from um, Outdoor Gear Essentials. So yeah, big thanks again, Cole, for sending this out to me. Um, it's got these uh, poppers so you could, if you wanted to, if you had an open non-bug mesh um, cover, then you could pop each side to each other. So you've got a, a cocoon sort of set up so you're completely covered inside. Um, but these, these work really well. You've got these um, shock cord adjusters so you can just cinch it up and tighten it nicely around you. Uh, I wasn't cold. It wasn't a cold night in all honesty. So it's not really a test of it. Um, there's also these little uh, hooks. So there's two on each side and again you could put cord on here up to the ridge line just to hold it up but I didn't find it a problem. Um, this morning when I was moving about I was actually awake and up. I did find that the other side had dropped down underneath so it wasn't covering me. That didn't happen during the night so I don't think it'd be a problem but what I may do is use those hooks on that side to attach it there so that way I've still got full access in and out without anything impeding me getting in and out of it i.e a line going up here to the ridge line. At each end of the uh, under quilt Again, you've got a series of shock cords, so you can cinch these up and get it get it nice and tight around the, the foot end and around the head end if you want to. Um, and you've got adjustable shock cord here as well that goes out to your ridge line where it attaches. So it, it's a very simple setup. It looks quite complex, but it's easily adjustable um, and it's easy to set up and quite quick. And at the top here, all you've got is a simple little carabiner, one wind on there, connected to the uh, end of the line from the hammock. So yeah, simple system, works really, really well. Well, that's me all packed up. Um, again, thanks to Gez from uh, Boys in the Wood. If you haven't seen his channel, check the link below, go and say hello. It is a, it's a good crack and uh, his videos are good fun. Big thanks to everyone for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button and I will see you all on the next video. Cheers, guys.